wonder if you can explain why these people are referring to the current framework for the Fed as wrong, right? The, the, the fact that they're, they're, they're tightening into uh, a recession oh. is what they're describing. So if you might be able to, to steel man that version of the, uh, of the argument, and yeah, then we'll come back to your side of the argument and kind of. Tell yeah, us so what. I mean, look, we're we're never gonna we're never gonna. There's no right answer to this question, right? This is a this is a real philosophical question on whether you believe the Fed should be intervening in markets and the economy, and and at what intervals? When should they be intervening? It's whether they should be and when they should they be. We don't particularly care to answer those kinds of questions because they tend not to be relevant to making and saving money in financial markets, which is all I care about. All we care about a forty two macro. The real question is, why is the Fed doing what it's doing? And the Fed, in our opinion, is doing what it's doing because the fiscal authority, aided by the Fed, did what it did in 2020 and 2021. The, you know, there's a reason the U.S. core inflation dynamics on a three-month annualized basis, you know, pick your statistic. You know, my, one of my favorites is median inflation or median CPI. There's a kind of, you know, rid of all the noise associated with, you know, airline tickets, used cars, all that stuff. You know, we're, we're still compounding at 7%. Three month annualized. You know, there's a reason that Europe's not doing that. <laughs> you know, so that what happened in 2020 and 2021, you know, from a just from a like a key headline takeaway perspective, is we dumped six and a half trillion dollars into a US economy that was a roughly around 15 trillion dollars at the time. You know, if you look at it on an average and smooth basis. And so, um, and this is from the fiscal authority, which again was being capitalized by the monetary authority. We didn't have to pay for that. We didn't have to pay for that, all that debt issuance. The Fed was paying for the debt issuance. So we monetized basically two thirds, or not two thirds, a third of our economy in the course of, you know, let's call it 24 months, 18, 24 months. And we are all sitting here wondering why we have so much inflation. Not only do we have a lot of inflation, we have an excess of inflation relative to the rest of the world. You know, we looked at this, um, you know, if you look at the spread between our inflation relative to the rest of the world's inflation, you know, it's in the 90, 95th percentile through, the, uh, I want to say that's data through August, right? Going back 50 years, <laughs> there's a reason that spread is in the 95th percentile. It's because we overcooked the goose. We overcooked the turkey. And now the Fed's so, dealing with it. Now they brought out the broom and the mop and they're dealing with it.